Hi, Pisces. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Pisces with the clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, what's happening for my Pisceans? All right, let's see. Okay, eight of wands. So you could be having some conversation with maybe a fire sign, you know, declaring how you feel. They're talking about how they feel. Magician. Uh, you could even be manifesting, trying to, you know, express how you feel. Somebody could even be trying to get you to come back or get you to stay or get you to resolve. Yeah, someone could be talking to you about what they're going to do, what they intend to do. They don't want you to leave. Um Let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, they want uh, the relationship. They want you to come back or to stay or to take the relationship to the next level. They want to marry you or they want to move in together or they want to stay together. They want to get through this. What else is going on here? What else is going on? Two of Cups. Yes, yeah, somebody definitely wants reconciliation. If the ties are severed, let's heal this. Let's come back together. Somebody is definitely now seeking a one on one relationship. They want you back. Let's see what else. The Three of Swords. Yeah. Uh, it could have been a third party stirring up trouble in the relationship, or you could have cheated. They could have cheated, or it was just energy where there was always misunderstanding, mishaps, miscommunication to where. It, Either you or the, or your person kind of alienated themselves, isolated. Like, I just don't even want to talk anymore because it turns into an argument or miscommunication. It's just, I'm tired of explaining myself. Let's see. What's the advice here for Pisces? Seven of Cups. All right. So don't be, don't procrastinate. If you know you want to change, make the change. Don't blow smoke up somebody's ass and tell them what they want to hear. Be honest about what you want don't keep someone around or in a stuck state or in a place where they won't make a decision because you're afraid you have seven of pentacles this might be an opportunity for you guys to take a break take a step back from the relationship um, let this energy mature either it's that you guys are going to come back together or stay together or grow together but um it doesn't say it's over but maybe take a break in the night of cups um, this could even be being in love elsewhere or being in love with someone else or you needing stimulation outside of this person or outside of this relationship or you feeling like you, you did too much or you're going to be doing too much or you are doing too much to keep this relationship afloat where this person is they're just saying too much or they're willing to do too much but as soon as they get you back or they get you in a place where you you aren't going anywhere then it goes kind of back to the same thing or the relationship kind of falls apart all right so let's get you some advice maybe for career what's going on for pisces in their career all right two cards all right so square that could be a challenge in your career you could be in a very challenging uh arena or field uh, it could be sales um you have to think about what motivates you there could be some tension between you and maybe your co-workers or your superior let's see scorpio some of you are hungry you want it you know, you're trying to really make it work or make it happen. Um, you are resourceful. Um, some of you could do sex work or there could be a problem with you doing it. I heard you don't have anywhere to do it. You don't have a home or a dwelling to do it in. Um, or you have to travel. There could be some compulsive energy. Um, you're trying to keep something a secret. Uh, what else is going on? Saturn, yeah, you're trying to grow up wisdom, use some wisdom, discipline, structure, be responsible, pass the test, maturity, you know, be ambitious, uh, even through a difficult time. So this might be a difficult time within your work setting. It's, it's difficult, but they want you to face it in a different manner. Maybe you used to face it in a very immature manner. If you were met with cattiness, that's what you gave back. How can you be different? How can you mature away from that? How can you take the high road? Um, if money gets low and 
maybe you go to, you know, um, using your body to get money. Maybe they're thinking, you know, the universe is trying to get you to use wisdom, use your mind. How can you get yourself out of uh, this financial bind or how else can you make money outside of using something so carnal, something so base, something, uh, your body, you know, you're so much more. Um, they want you to be the innovator, like the Aquarius energy. Think, use your mind, think outside of the box, uh, be radical, eccentric, idealistic, you know, eclectic, electric, experimental, um, detached. Okay. So yeah, that's how they want you to be. Uh, some of you definitely using like manipulation, sexual activity to get what it is you want. You're going to have to think outside of that. Um, you can secure the bag, but you won't ever keep it. This is what I have for you. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. If you took something from the reading, you can always give something back. Yep, buy me a coffee. Let the exchange happen. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I do a collective reading and then I answer questions. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Have a really good week.